morning. This is Nita with the Timepiece Garden, and I'm painting today. I actually did a little bad thing, though. I started blending and um, forgot to film. So, most of the darker purples were this dark and this hard. Does that make sense? And you can see where I've started to lighten them. Um, so, again, when you're out here at a distance, you can tell it's the darker portion of the cloud. The sunlight's not reaching it, but it's not, it's not that dark. Does that make sense? It's that dark. And I've got another color to put on it still. So, um, hey, focus. Let's do something. Kind of blurry there. Focus. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. So I'll show you a shot when I'm done. I've still got at least two more colors to blend, and then I want to start working on the sun a little and the water reflections. So, all right. Talk to you in a few. See, as always, when we're zoomed out like this, the camera doesn't always show or pick up what I uh, what I did detail-wise. So if you look, the dark purple corner is still dark purple because that's the farthest portion away from the setting sun. Um, and then as we go up, the, the purples actually lighten up a little, which is what they're supposed to do. Um, so from there, we'll just kind of zoom in, and, and that way you can see layer upon layer of clouds. Excuse me. You know, which is how it should be. Clouds are light and fluffy and just layers upon layers. And they're not done yet. You know, but now you can start to see instead of just the red and the purple, how they were all kind of lined in there. Um, you can start to see where the, the individual cloud pieces are going up, you know, in the shadows and what's in front and what's behind, which is awesome. Again, I can only do so much, then I have to let it dry or it becomes mud. Um, and I started to put in... The reflection of the sun off the waves. And yes, I gotta zoom into the camera for you to see what I see. You know, when I'm zoomed out, you almost don't see it at all. You know? But it's there. It has started. Um, you will see more as, as I finish it left and right. Um, you know? It's kind of awesome, though. All right, having said that, I'm done for the day. Again, we're, we're such small, fine details that if I do too much, I just make mud. So let's do it a little at a time and then walk away. And we're at that, that walk away point now. So I'm going to go home and play with my puppy dog. And I will talk to you later. Afternoon. So this is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. I'm saying it twice just in case I don't load it with the video I've already done this morning. Um, got to go paint this morning, you know. Lots of time to do that. Yay! Um, our highs today are only going to be like 45. Oh, excuse me, I just finished lunch. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know I'm not going to get a lot done. So that makes sense just between being gone most of the morning... And then coming home late, having a late lunch. But I still got a little bit of time. So, things we got to think about doing. Or, yeah, things I'm thinking about doing. Just one of those small stuff while I have time, you know. I have a little bit of time. If I get too cold, something small, I'll get it done and go back in the house. But my, uh, my stands here are, like, falling off the ground. You know, so you can see it. Um, and that's what holds my rose there. So I need to go get a piece of my really good rebars and make the holes deeper so I can uh, put that back in and get that get it back up so it's arched over my my fairy here. Um, not a huge work, not a huge job. Um, might be great for a day like this. You know, piece of rebar, get a hammer, and make some good holes. So, that's what I'm going to start. That, you know, again, something small. By the time I'm done, if it's cold, I'll go in the house. And if not, then I'll move on to the next thing. So, talk to you in a few. Alrighty, all fixed. So, had to, um, the arches here, I scavenged from a different shelf that was, a, I want to say, a top to one of those big box, little mini greenhouses. Um, it's mostly made of plastic. Um, it's falling apart. 
Someone's going to throw it in the trash. I took it. I'll knock the past plastic off and take it to the trash. But the upper bars here were metal. And that makes the perfect arch, arch top to my lady here. So, uh, again, you can see it. It's just, it's the perfect arch. It fits her just great. I've got to, got to be really careful because of where the sun's at. And standing in the shade is cold, but it, you get the view. Um, so it's got my same little woven wire is on it that was on before, but now it's just, it's got a good arch. Um, I also know that it came down. See that log piece right there? Yeah, it fell out of the tree. Um, probably in the last wind or ice storm, but that's what hit it because there was no top on it. It was just the woven wire mesh. So that makes sense. That's why it, it bent down the way it did. So it's really easy to bend it back, put the top on it, you know, line everything up. I went ahead and use a, I used a rebar, um, reset the hole so it's back a little closer to the tree. It's also about two inches more to the left. Um, so instead of being in front of the uh, rose root, it's now directly on top of the rose root. Um, so yeah, it should look, you know, awesome again come spring. And everybody tied down. Life is sweet. Yeah, you won't see it again till spring, you know. But it's up now before, before it buds out, which is awesome. <laughs> All right, Panda says it's done too, so she and I. We'll talk to you later.